The number one reason people buy the X Factor is to increase their distance. And we're really talking about the driver here. So let me go through the procedure for setting up for distance with the X Factor. Now, when you tee the golf ball up, we're going to tee the ball high. And the reason is we're trying to hit the golf ball very high on the club face to get maximum distance, not near the bottom of the golf club. I like uh, my students to get the club up off the ground in what I call the ready position right here where the club is basically bisecting the body. And we can check our grip right there. Everything's really visible, very easy to see. Then you place the club behind the golf ball. We step in with the back foot and aim. Now the next part is very important, placement of the left foot. The left foot is going to move to where you want it. It's very important that you learn this, and I would like that ball right on the left heel. So I step there, then I take a bigger step with my right leg and right foot. Now when I step back, a number of things happen. This is my widest stance with the driver, and it's going to be considerably wider than my hips and also wider than my shoulders. When I set up, I want that golf ball right off the inside part of my left shoulder and the inside of my left foot. The left foot, you will notice, is outside the left shoulder. Now that's something you can check on in the mirror. So that's going to give me the ability to move over and have lateral motion. Do not get your left foot under your left hip in this fashion. You'll have nowhere to go. So that's a nice little power secret right there. So here I am in my setup and I'm prepared to hit it. A couple of things to check. Your tilt away from the target with your spine. With the driver it's going to be the most tilt. The reason for that is we're going to be hitting the golf ball right at the bottom of the swing or even slightly on the upswing to launch that ball high and get a flat trajectory. So. This position is critical. The right uh, shoulder will be lower than the left, and the tilt will be about at least five degrees up to about 10 degrees away from the target. Look in the mirror, check that, or have someone at the golf course check you. I don't want too much tilt. Sometimes I see people get too much tilt, but the normal thing is to see this kind of setup with the average golfer where they have their spine straight up and down or even tilted forward. So this is your setup right here. The bend is from the waist. We can see that down the target line. You're very erect with your driver, chest up and shoulders back, as opposed to hunched over, shoulders in, which really stops you from making a really wide shoulder turn. And it's very easy to feel that. Put your shoulders back and you'll see how easy it is to turn. Scrunch them in and it really tightens your your turn up. So again, great little tip. So that's how you set up with the driver braced on the insides of the legs, relaxed, light with your arms and flexibility in the wrists, and you're ready to go.